Hmm. So, you have come. To think not even 300,000 men could stop you. My shogun. Do what you must then. I will not waste another word for the butchers of my son. We never laid hands on your son. Neither were we responsible for the death of Oshiro Mugen. It was your brother who twisted the truth to his desire. Why should I believe this outrageous accusation? What proof do you have? We have a witness. Ugh! My nephew? Is this supposed to work in your favor? This creature killed your son with his own hands. Lies! Uncle, lies! I saw that filthy shinobi put a blade in his back. He... he killed Ryunosuke. No! No, he's lying! Hmm. Go on, nephew. He killed Mugen Sensei, too. They... they all seek to deceive you, Uncle. They hurt me. They told me to lie to you, but I won't. And you know all this because you saw the murder happen, yes? Yes. I, I, no, I mean, I, I'm... Why were you there? How did you know where Ryonosuke was hidden? Uh, uncle, uncle, you, you don't understand. I, I didn't... You cannot lie to me, nephew. Answer me now, truthfully. Who in this room has murdered my son? Please, uncle. I only did... What my father told me. I didn't want to. <laughs> he made me. He he gave me the knife. It wasn't my fault. I Enough. Not another word. Noboru, my own brother, all this time. He blinded us all. I should have seen it. His eagerness for battle. His disapproval whenever we spoke of peaceful solutions. My brother never wanted peace. He was made for conquest. Were he born a century ago, he would have been the greatest warlord. A shadow of the past, darkening the present day. We all desire revenge for what was lost, but we will follow your command, as did Mugen before us. Mugen. Even in death, he proves his loyalty. I will not grant my brother an honorable death. He will die forgotten. A brief mention in the annals of history. Seek him out in his domain at Sonpu Castle. Face him and do what must be done. We will discuss your future when you return. As you command, my shogun. Now go. We have wasted enough time already. And now, to you, nephew. That's as far as this wagon will get us. You ready, old man? The excitement is quite rejuvenating. Even Kuma is eager. Yes, quite. The others should be in position by now. Up here, Akusan. We're almost there. Your navigation skills are impressive, Yuki-chan. Now, we have a hard task ahead of us. Fire! 
lot of you. Again! It doesn't look like there's an easy way to reach Noboru. The best paths are often hidden from view. Remember what I told you before. The wells are all connected with each other. So, we use the wells to get into the upper castle. Again! Lord. takuma -san expected the wells to be secured with locks. Locks have keys, right? I can find a key. We should also look for a disguise on the way. Very well. Let us meet the others halfway and enter the wells together. After that we will make further plans. Now, shall we begin? Ready, Aiko-san. Ready when you are, Hayato-san. Right. Let's finish this. We act as one. Oh, waiting is boring. An elegant solution. <laughs> On my way. How long has it been? We must show prudence. A plan. Mm. Just a simple hip. Mm. An elegant death. I will remain unseen. It will be done. Perhaps the... Mm. Out of sight. The music starts. A special powder. <laughs> On my way. Out of sight. <laughs> the dance begins. My love, watch over us. It will be done. An elegant landing. <gasps> An elegant landing. A remedy for watchful. <gasps> An elegant solution. A plan in motion. I will remain unseen. Mm. Subtlety. They will not. The dance. The mark must remain un. <coughs> An elegant solution. Death travels swiftly today. Reloading. I know Fire. you're in there. Fire! Aim true for Lord Noboru! Again! Lord! Easily. <laughs> Window reloading. Again. No. Hiding Stay in there, there, huh? Fire. Out of sight. Just a simple hairpin. Fire. Kandashi. Fire. <laughs> a drop of blood. Is part of you. Again. Load. An unknown out of supplies. Reloading. the most elegant tool. Yes. Lord! Mm. Lord 
I wish to observe your fruit. for watchful eyes. Of course, Navarro Sama. Men, you have heard Lord Navarro. Fire! Ha. Special powder. Hotikuma-sensei! Yuki-chan, good to see we've all made it out safely. We have fulfilled our duty. Now all that's left is to report back to the Shogun. I don't think I'll be coming. Huh? Wh why not? We did what the Shogun wanted, right? I didn't do this for the Shogun. I did it for us. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against you all. But from here on... It would not be the same. I understand, Hayato-san. Then maybe we should follow Hayato's example, Yuki-chan. But won't the Shogun be looking for us? Do not fear, Yuki-chan. I will still report to the Shogun. I have an offer to make him. If he accepts it, he might forgive this minor disobedience. So, we say goodbye now? The road ahead is long. Why not travel together a bit longer and say goodbye along the way? Oh, yes. Oh, can we do that, Aiko-san? Please, please say yes. <laughs> I have no objection. What about you, Hayato-san? I... <laughs> All right, I think I can put up with you for a few more miles. With the death of Lord Noboru, Japan was spared another century of war. The conspiracy of Kagesama finally came to an end. The truth would never be known. History books say that Noboru was put under house arrest by his brother and committed suicide. The Shogun was given another son. His dynasty would keep the peace for almost three centuries. Having avenged their friend Mugen, his companions disbanded. No one knows what became of them though their deeds inspired countless legends. One can only wonder how many fought and died for the Shogun, their names never mentioned, their deeds secret, their tales forever hidden in the shadows.